So in this video, we have this login field. We will try to bypass this login field with a SQL injection. This is the Irish name repo one CTF challenge of Pico CTF. We have the description of the challenge and also the URL. So when I go to the URL, I can see a list of Irish people. We also have a menu bar here with support and admin login. If I first go to the support page, I can see we have the first ticket where someone is trying to add Conan O'Brien but getting a SQL error. So we can be sure that the database that this website is using is a SQL database and the admin replied because Conan O'Brien is American and someone also said why is this site so trash and someone also said can you help me find my parents I think they were Irish the admin said no so we have a savage admin here so anyway if I go back and click on the admin login I can see we have a login page with username and password field if I try to use the username admin and the password admin and click on login I can see it says login field if I try to do a basic SQL injection which is after the username I'll give a single quote and two dash and click on login I can see we're logged in and I found the flag let's understand a little bit more how this works so we have a table with the column ID username and password if I want to select the whole table I would type select everything from the table users and I can see we have the whole table if I want to select only one user I would type select everything from the table users where the username is admin and the password is admin 123 and I will end my statement with a semicolon and I can see only the admin row is selected the website is using some query like this to verify whether we have the correct username and password so suppose if I typed a wrong password it would not have selected anything which is the equivalent of login failed now in our challenge we have used this query so if I use the query in my own table I can see with the first single quote we are closing the username field and in SQL these two dash means a comment so anything after the comment is not counted as a part of the code so if you used a different programming language like python you know when you use a hash that is not counted as part of the code so it is the same thing here the whole thing here will be invalid so our query will look something like this and I can see the correct user is selected now this is not the only SQL injection you can use so if I type something like SQL injection payloads click on the first github link and scroll down you can see the thousand of other payloads you can use so in this challenge I have used this one but you can use other ones as well so since we found the flag let me copy this paste it and click on submit flag and I can see we are correct so we are going over the web exploitation CTF challenges of Pico CTF if you wanna follow along please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching